don't just stand there, come into my laboratory. Just stand there, have a cup of blood. Don't just stand there, relax yourself, lie down in the coffin. Stand there, kiss me. Reach in, baby. of Boggy Creek tells it like it happened. Through the eyes of the big technoscope cameras, you will see wildlife living with nature, a treat you will not soon forget. This is the setting for the new motion picture, Legend of Boggy Creek, filmed entirely on location around Falk, Arkansas. It is the true story of the Falk monster. This motion picture is being acclaimed by the motion picture industry as a strong contender for that industry's top award, the Academy. The Legend of Boggy Creek, color by Technicolor, is a PL film production presentation.
Cigarette butts on the ground. Help keep my jungle clean, my friends. Hey, all you jive hustlers, you stone foxes, you mean dudes. Watch out, cause Slaughter's back in town. Jim Brown is Slaughter. The baddest cat that ever walked the earth. In Slaughter, he tore up the mob good. Now they want him bad. They're gonna get Slaughter or get slaughtered. In Slaughter's Big Ripper. Music composed and performed by James Brown, the godfather of soul. Slaughter's Big Ripoff from American International. Rated R, under 17, not admitted without parent. Slaughter's Big Ripoff, it's hot.
about that. Get today and gone tomorrow. Leave behind love and babes and song. A tempting agent, I know I am. Mmm, sorry about that. Yes, I lead a double life. A fighter, a lover, at an expensive price. The one thing that always makes him sore. I always tell him I'll be back for more. I hit a bad thing to spy. A dodging bullets and a stranger's knife. Now, baby, don't you see? Just leave me old Bart McGee, yeah. About that. I lead a bad day to smile, a dodging bullets and a stranger's smile. Now, baby, don't you see? Just leave me old Bob McGee, yeah. A tempting agent, I know I am. I don't even have time for Rufus Sam. I'm a goofy guy and I'll be back. Hmm, sorry about that. A secret agent, that I am. I'm looking for that guy they call Mohair Sam. Now, baby, don't you see? I don't have time for your apartment key. Believe me, baby, I'll be back. Stretching down those endless tracks. I wish I could, but I know I can. Sorry about that. All right, this is the stick up. Okay, everybody down on the floor and nobody will get hurt. Not you, Charlie. Okay, Charlie, start putting the money in the sack. Not the pennies, Charlie. Okay, Charlie, grab the bag and let's go. Oh, Charlie, the money bag. Okay, Charlie, through the door. Charlie, you should not open the door. Charlie? The cops! You should have bought gas. When a man is trained for violence, he doesn't give a damn if it's on the battlefield or the open road. Chrome and Hot Leather is the story of Mitch, who marshaled his green berets against the biker's freak savagery. Mitch, a case-hardened fighter, tempered for combat in any kind of dirty war. Jim, the best right arm any outfit ever had. Hank, the battering ram, to plow through when the going got tough. In chrome and hot leather, it was search and destroy in a gut fight to the finish. To the bikers, the message was loud and clear. Don't muck around with a Green Beret's mama, or you'll get your chopper rammed down your throat. See chrome and hot leather, in color, rated GP.
folk history of America is the history of its heroes. Big working men like John Henry, Paul Bunyan, and Big Bad John. But today I'd like to introduce a new folk hero. He didn't work in a mine or on a railroad or any of those strenuous occupations. He worked in a beauty salon, and his name was Bruce. Well, every day at the salon, you can see him arrive. He stood six foot six, weighed 105. He's kind of narrow in the shoulders, narrow in the hips, with a curl in his hair and a smile on his lips. Big Bruce. Big bad Bruce. No one seemed to know where Bruce came from. He kind of switched into town and stayed all alone. Never said much, kind of quiet and shy. And when he spoke at all, it was just to say hi, Big Bruce. Big bad Bruce. Some say he came from New Orleans, where he had a social group called the Cajun Queens. <laughs> Some say Hollywood or Beverly Hills, where he got arrested for passing three dollar bills. That's Bruce. Then came the day of that terrible fire. Something went wrong in the number five dryer. Into the chaos of those matronly dames When Big Bad Bruce had just a fan in the flames Big Bruce Big Bad Bruce, hey Bruce Well, the flames grew higher and the fire got worse And someone heard Brucey cry Mercy, I forgot my purse Into the fire with a squeal and a shout We waited an hour but he never came out. Poor Bruce. Poor old Bruce. Where that salon once stood is a grocery store, but his name will live forevermore in the annals of time and in the hall of fame as a gay young cat who went down in flames. Big Bruce. I'd say this has been kind of a fairy tale. From the way you've got me heaving, I'm darn glad to see you leaving. Cause to lose your love, I really didn't mind. But I know you've no idea how it gives me diarrhea when I see the awful mess you left behind. Dirty dishes on the sink, piles on the ceiling. When I look at them, I get a stinking feeling. I bought you a vacuum cleaner, so it makes me all the meaner when I see that pile of dirt upon the floor. And inside the bedroom closet is a 16-ton deposit of that dirty, smelly underwear you wore. So I'm puking my heart out over you. You should see my complexion turning blue. Oh, my heart, it ain't a quiver. But you sure upset my liver, and I'm puking my heart out over you. Since the day you popped the question, I've had acid indigestion, for I found that I was underneath your thumb. One week after we were married, I was wishing I was buried when I saw you were a dirty, lousy bum. When I look at you, I feel as if a lizard is inside of me and not on my gizzard. Oh, my love would have been truer, but your breath smelled like a sewer. When you married me, you played a dirty trick. And my heart may not be breaking, but my belly sure is aching. Because the very thought of you still makes me sick. So I'm puking my heart out over you. You should see my complexion turning blue. Oh, my heart ain't all a quiver, but you sure upset my liver. And I'm puking my heart all over you. Where the pavement ends, the West begins. Black Rodeo. We fought side by side, many up and down. 
Special appearances by Woody Strode. It was the first time that the blacks could run in and say, boss, the Indians are coming. And Muhammad Ali. I want y'all to saddle up and ride out. I'm the new sheriff in this town. I'm a bad nigga. Take it <laughs> Black Rodeo. With music by Aretha Franklin, B.B. King, Ray Charles, and Little Richard. Oh, my soul. If nobody ever told you there were black cowboys, see Black Rodeo from Cinerama releasing rated G general audiences. Ching, 
sound you hear will be Kitten on the Keys, an authentic original organ solo by a seven-week-old kitten. And 
Now we take you backstage for a brief interview with our star. Good evening. Is it true your solo was performed without a single lesson? And isn't it also true that this is the first time you've played a Baldwin orgasonic home organ? Or any organ? That goes to prove even mistakes sound good on a Baldwin home organ. Ezra Cobb was a nice enough fella, kind of quiet, hardworking, good neighbor, devoted son, just about the last person in the world you'd suspect of being deranged. Deranged, the story of Ezra Cobb, grave robber, psychopath, and homicidal maniac. He was trapped in his mother's web of evil. Twisted by his own demented fears. So obsessed with death itself that he became deranged. He carved a trail of butchery so brutal that newspapers refused to print its gruesome details. Deranged, a nightmare of insane murder and lingering death. 
Deranged. Rated R. Under 17. Not admitted without parent. Listen, like is the first soft drink made just for us girls. You know what I mean? In our tutus. <laughs> That's because like has no cola coloring, no caffeine, and silly willy, just no six spoons of sugar. <laughs> That's why it can be so bright, fresh, clear, sparkling, clean, crisp, and Marvy poo. <laughs> and have such a clean, unmasked flavor. Like first soft drink made just for us girls, just for girls and us gay guys. <laughs> you silly devil, see you later. We've got the first refresher just for girls. My name is Gordon Hathaway, and I'm from Manhattan, and I'm a party doll. <gasps> How about that? Well, some cats and myself will swing a bit of authentic Zulu rhythm, so boom a like a chimba and you should know tis a day, tis a day, tis a day. Oh, oh, oh. Hi ho, Steve. -o. Hi-ho, Steve Arino. That was a gasser, cats. Just fantabulous. <laughs> now let's hear from the men's glee club. So... Attention! All right, community, swing! Hi ho, Steve O! Hi ho, Steve O! Hi ho, Steve O! Hi ho, Steve O! Steve-o. 
you hill and gully riders. I must get back to the office. So, hi ho, Stevo. Hi ho, Stevo. There's a bar that I know of, and I can. Guarantee it's simply grand. It's located at Fifth and Main. Just wonder if then you can use my name. There's a bartender serves you beer, and I'm not sure, but I really think he's queer. He's got muscles and big tattoos, and while he serves you, my dear, he loves to. Said we two could become a jazzy pair. It's you for me and me for you. And if you show me, I'll know what to do for you, for you. We decided that we'd play house, but he turned out to be such a rotten spouse. He was also a dreadful bore, and what is more, I think he was a whore. D D C C D G to me. Now my story is almost. And as you see me right now, I'm gray and old. Once I was such a lovely camp, until the day I met that tattoo tramp. There's a moral to this here tale, so pay attention or you will weep and wail. Do not be led into a trap, or you will wind up with a. Psycho. <laughs> See, Asylum. You have nothing to lose but your mind. <laughs> Asylum. From Cinerama Releasing. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested.
nuts. Yes. I'm <laughs> sorry.